When chef and restaurateur Frank Prisanzano bought a loft in downtown New York City in 2001, he gutted it and set out to build the ultimate dinner party space. First, he converted a traditional fireplace into a wood-burning pizza oven and grill, where he can roast whole pigs or lambs. What I had here was just an old rinky-dink little fireplace that didn't really work. But well, I said to myself, I want to turn this thing into a real cooking station. In the dining area, he built a zebra wood table that he bolted into the floor. It comfortably seats 20, or 30 in a pinch. I've always complained that Tables have too many legs. You know, you know, the legs always getting in the way. Next, he installed a handmade French oven range with brass fittings, complete with a French flat top cooking surface. This is basically a super hot plate. So this is super, super hot. This gets a little less hot, a little bit less hot. And as you go further out, less and less hot. And then he assembled a 3,000 bottle solid walnut wine cellar that hovers right above a sitting area. This is a bottle of one Amarone Duffalo. This is about a thousand dollar bottle of wine. He made sure the lighting was dim and romantic. Everyone complains that there's not enough light in here. I think there's too much light here. He displayed his collection of grappas, many in hand printed bottles. I can't believe the aromas and the flavors that come out of some of these grappas. There. And floral, even vegetal, fruit. I mean, you can't believe what comes out of it. And that's what I love about grappa. And he set out his copper pot collection, professional coffee machine, prosciutto slicer, blenders, and mixers. When he was finally done, Mr. Prisanzano had the perfect entertaining space. But he also had a new problem. I can't get away with a small dinner party anymore because I have too many people that are really close to me and they all love my food. And I feel bad because I'm not inviting this one, I'm not inviting that one. You know, the, you know, the next thing I know, I have 25, 30 people in here. So I, I actually should have made it bigger. For The Wall Street Journal in New York City, I'm Katie McLaughlin.